Amazing audience, we are live in Montreal and we are here with Julie and I will attempt to say her <laughs> name again and then she will say it, which will be better, right? So it's Kuzimaru, Kuzimaru, Kuzimaru. Kuzmaru. Oh, Kuzmaru. Uh, good attempt though. Yeah. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> you're real. I'm real. You're here. I'm here. You're real. Yeah. Like, touch me. It's real. Yeah. No, no green screen. <laughs> well, that's fascinating. So we had a conversation. I believe you were episode 1927. And now I'm here in Montreal and I'm seeing you and I can speak to you and I can ask you questions face to face. Cool. Amazing, right? Yeah. Welcome. Thank you for coming here and may Montreal welcome you. Yeah, I appreciate Formally. that. Montreal is amazing. It's pretty cool. A lot of French. Yep. Yeah. All of the food. French. Yeah. You there's a lot it's very diverse yeah. food in Montreal different pockets of different nationalities represented and yeah. cultures and ethnicities it's I'll be special. fat after this yeah, trip well you are only here for a day so. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what's up with you like what are you doing what's the latest thing what's going on um I'm I'm you know we met through podcasting and so I guess that's pretty front row center I mean I'm a coach I am a life coach and an intuitive, and um, I also have this podcast, which I've been pretty knee deep in. Yeah, the Julian Conversation. Julian Conversation, and I started it back in 2009, which had a di it was of a different name. I think we talked about this, I don't remember on the... You did. I did. Um, and I was interviewing thought leaders who are living and leading with their heart to inspire personal and global change. Yeah. And then I had two boys, and so the podcast at the time was called The Radio Show Stop. I stopped it and I just recently took started again in November of this past year hmm. so with the new name Julian conversation I think at the time I don't remember what month it was it would have been between September and December I okay. think it was November so I was just getting going yeah. and I started with a new series called motherhood let's create a village to inspire you told us about that I told you, you about did that. yeah okay, so let's, I won't be redundant, no you're good no it's good it's because good? there are people that would have good. would have not heard the podcast right who are looking now yeah. yeah so yeah so the idea is from my own experience i've done some personal you know first person perspective but you know getting married consciously i had a whole series about that and then being pregnant for the first time and consciously being pregnant and leading up to birth and each time I bring expert guests to speak with me and then the idea is to provide positive impact for those listening to support their own journey emotionally mentally spiritually and physically so when I was coming back to this podcast I was like I'm pretty immersed in being a mother and parenting and figuring it all out and so that just felt like a natural progression so I'm doing the motherhood thing yeah and and I have different great guests. So it's not specifically you need to be a mother to be listening, or if you're identifying as a woman who's a mother, but it's parenting, it's um, the journey of being human on this life, nurturing children, and also how do I, you know, how does one take care of themselves yeah. um, and stay sane and be happy and help the world? It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Where can people connect with the podcast? julianconversation.com boom julianconversation.com so my website and then also wherever you find your podcasts itunes stitcher tune in google play the list goes on i don't know i mean <laughs> you know, i actually broadcast my podcast it's live so that's different via facebook is it no it's via it's not uh, it's just an audio podcast right and it's through spreaker have you heard of spreaker? yes Spreaker is amazing yes. yeah you like it yeah well i've never used it but okay. i know the developers of it so okay. yeah it's like high-end stuff yeah high they were quality connected with blog talk i used to do blog talk radio right understood and the, now the sound quality with this is is like superb right better, yeah, yeah. And it's also one of the live features, so Spreaker was giving you that. So yeah. I'm going live through Spreaker. Oh, that's good. So there's an app, and people could also listen through the Spreaker app. One of the segments we like to cover in our sessions, face-to-face uh, -face sessions, is your own unique real shoes. And oh, my own re unique real shoes? Yeah. 
right? And that speaks to sometimes individuals would see your shoes, right? <laughs> and then they're like, hey, you know, you have some amazing shoes, but they don't see the steps that those shoes have made, the struggles. What is something, one thing that you've struggled with over the last two to three years? Well, it's this navigating parenthood. Mm -hmm. Having children, two boys, wanting to get deep into my career and dealing with the emotions of my children, my own emotions get that get triggered and, um, re, you know, navigating, like, how do I do it all? Yeah. Do you I mean, that's on the surface layer. Yeah, because, I mean, that could go really deep, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, I mean, do you have... When you say navigate, could you explain yeah. that, please? It's like some days I just need a break, but there's no break in store. You know, it's that's why I call it Let's Create a Village, because I can't do it on my own, or as a couple, we can't do it only on our own. And the way that we have evolved to live in society, it makes parenting more challenging because we're doing it on our own. Yeah. Um, so it's required me to, it's a deeply humbling experience. Like it's required me to put a, to go slower and to surrender to a lot of what I think I want, you yeah. know, and to like how things should be and how my children should be and how they should act and what they should look like and what they should be interested in. Hmm. All of it, you yeah. know, it's like this whole image. Where, when do you have that space to reflect on, on your decisions for each thought that you're having? Uh, well, I create space by either seeking the support of like a therapist or a coach or space on my time on my own. Like I, I run a lot. I uh, make sh try and cultivate either getting a babysitter or just some space to hear. Like there's a lot of noise and yeah. sound in my house. I'm sure you could relate. Having oh yeah, boys. yeah, yeah. This is <laughs> me. Yeah, yeah. Who do we have on there? Yeah, uh, yeah. Akila. Yeah, uh, yeah. Akila knows what you're speaking about. She's my cousin. She oh, yeah? has. Yeah, she has three children. Two children, if yes. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of noise. So you work from home as well, right? Yeah, I work from home. So. I sometimes work out of the house, but primarily from home. Yeah. And my work is like is intuition and intuition requires tuning it out yeah. you know and so it's like no ways and i'm like need to tune it out sometimes i just i can't, I can't hear myself yeah know? so but it's beautiful and you know how it is right like it just helps one be compassionate which is cool what are you excited about i'm excited that my boys are getting older <laughs> <laughs> it really does excite me like, with each new year I'm not in a rush but as they de they mature and their brains develop and mature like I, I am excited by yeah, that yeah. it's truly exciting for me how does your husband uh, couple with the emotional side of what you're thinking and what needs to get done how um, does he combine and make that what does he do in the mix of everything? He tries to stay calm. Yeah, balancing everything. Yeah, and we're just figuring it out. You know? Yeah. Like, we're human beings who get triggered by moods or words being thrown at us or yeah. defiance or, you know, anything that a kid would naturally have. Yeah. And so we're doing our best. Yeah. I think you'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> when you heard that this guy from the Caribbean was coming to meet you, what did you think? I thought, wow, you're courageous and mm. cool and have initiative. And I think that's tremendous and fun. And you've never been to Canada before. And that's awesome that I get to welcome you here. Yeah. Canada is amazing, though. Like, there's a, like, like Canadians seem to be, like, really chill. Yeah. Like they're in the park. <laughs> yeah, it's the park what time again. is it? It's like three PM. It's a weekend. It's so they're chilling. Some I of us are chilling. I, I didn't see much of this in um in New York. Well New York you were in the city? Yeah. So, yeah, it's yeah like it's still, I mean if you go downtown certain parts, obviously we're in a park. Yeah. 
there's many facets to every place, you know, but I'm glad you're seeing this. There's a vibe here, like yeah. a really cool... This is a cool part Yeah, of okay, fair enough. If you had to share with us in closing something that, you know, something that represents who you are, that you would like to share with all those listening, what would that one thing be? I think I'm here to learn and to help and to heal and to grow individually but also collectively and so I feel just very committed to us be caring about ourselves and one another and honoring the places that we inhabit and the bodies that we inhabit and the people that we are and the differences that make us unique yeah. as well and I just feel like come together people do you have any regrets with the decisions you've made going forward in this realm of building a village, creating a village? No, I don't. Do you believe that you will succeed? I believe I'm already succeeding. Like, from my own level of success, I'm following my heart. And that's not easy, but it feels right and true, and so it's unfolding. I love and it. look, we're talking. Boom! Amazing. Uh, yeah, you. it's like confirmation, right? It's possible if you do believe there's amazing things that can happen. Yeah. I use the word amazing purposefully over and over and over and over and over and over because life is amazing, folks, and I'm not going to apologize for that. Yeah? Did you have fun? A lot. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm, I'm like, God, ah, Julie, I need to say her last name again. I could just help you. Please. Julie Kismari you. Ooh, thank you for being on What Is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Chow. Thank you. Kaboom.